Well, in a summer where most of the vegetables have burnt to a crisp, let me show you what I planted not too long ago and are just doing fantastic. So you might remember that I planted these earth boxes not that long ago. I will research how long it was and put it on the screen right about now. Now these are burpless cucumbers I got from Hoss and I planted them really not believing they would do that much that well because it was 100 degrees nearly every day or over and um, you know they they really need about an 80 degree germination uh, temp to uh, to germinate and so I I truly didn't think they were going to do that well now the rest of the things I got over here planted I'll show you in just a second I knew they were going to do okay because they love the heat but I really wasn't sure about these but I want you to look at these cucumbers I'm getting some little bitty ones right there. And uh, I didn't come in here thin like I said I was going to do. <laughs> some of these holes, there's four holes to a, uh, four holes to an earth box and some of them have two plants growing up in it and some only have one plant growing up in it. There's one with two. And I should have thinned them. I really should have, uh, but I didn't. So. Um, I think it may be a little late for that one. Uh, they're so dang big, they're four feet tall almost. That also is a burpless cuke and uh, was planted at the same time so I don't know. Oh, I do know too. I fertilized that one. I was going to come in here one uh, day and it was just so dadgum hot I just quit. I went ahead and put some fertilizer in that one and I did not fertilize that one. So I need to come and take my clips off the back side, run some fertilizer along the back wall of that one and uh, kick it into high gear. Can you see the difference? My goodness, what a difference fertilizer makes. Fertilized, not fertilized. Wow, I, it just now dawned on me that that's, the, that's why they're like that. I remember now, now finally remember fertilizing that one right there and uh, did not come back and fertilize that one just forgot about it wow uh, what a difference that one we'll get some fertilizer here in just a little while some 10 20 10 i uh, want to get those blooms I want that middle number that 20 um, middle number really um, high so i'll do some 10 20 10. not going to fertilize these these are beans these are those um, yard long beans and I showed them to you not long ago, just showed you that they uh, came up, uh, germinated. Well, I knew these were gonna germinate because they, they love the hot weather. But I also told you that the, <laughs> these things will grow probably 12 feet if you let them. So I'm gonna have them come up about five feet and then I'm gonna have them hang a left, except in the places where I'm gonna have them hang a right. Uh, really doesn't matter to me which way they hang as long as they hang. This one right here has Gone five feet up, come down, there's a foot, there's a foot. So they're about seven or eight feet long right now. It hung a, it hung a, it hung a down. So, uh, but these are having to start, haven't start putting out yet, but it, I don't think it'd be long. We're going to start seeing some blooms. Get this. Back. That may be some blooms right there on the end of that thing. Just trying to straighten that out a little bit so I can get it up here and wrap that around there. It'll it'll wrap around itself now. That's one thing about these pole beans, and these are again these are yard long Asian uh, yard long beans, and they just man they'll they'll take off and just start wrapping. Um, so if you can, sometimes you'll have to train train them the very first um, when they first come up and get close to a trellis, you may have to, to interweave if they're, you know, 12 inches tall, something like that. Go ahead and, and make your first weave there on the bottom. Just kind of come in and out. And then from there on, they're just, they're going, they're looking for something to, to grab onto. So you don't have to worry about that. So anyway, these seven earth boxes are looking great. I'm reusing the trellis that is the Hardenova trellis from Haas Tools. 
it's a five foot trellis and now it's not quite five feet tall in this application because it's five feet to the ground and I've got about 12 inches of earth box. It's really only about four feet tall up to that, about four feet, something like that. Maybe a little, little more than that. It's an earth box I don't think is quite 12 inches tall. But uh, these are really looking nice and expect to get some yard long beans off these pretty quick. So don't be afraid. Uh, even right now, it's end of August. If you live in the South, you're in zone eight or thereabouts, eight or, eight or higher, I mean, eight, nine, uh, you can grow these right now and, uh, and get a crop off before you get that first frost. And some of you in nine probably don't even get a first frost. So you can grow this stuff. Um, I wish I had a good tomato plant or two. I'd, I'd go, uh, I'd get me some tomato plants going because I really miss not having some tomatoes since mine burn up. But mine burn up so fast and so completely, I couldn't even, uh, get a clone off of them they just uh i mean I, I took a few but they didn't do anything just anyway wanted to let you know see the progress of these yard long beans and the progress of those um uh burpless cucumbers down there i really didn't think they were going to germinate I, I figured i'd have to plant them about right now when it starts to cool down a little bit to get them to germinate or uh, have them germinate in the house when it, where it's 80 degrees or thereabouts so, uh, but no, heck no, they come up like a champ. I mean, I think they were up even before these beans were. So don't be afraid to plant you something. Don't be afraid to plant you something. But southern peas is another thing that would do amazing in the hot summertime. And you've got, uh, most of them are 70 days. So you've probably got time to get in a crop of southern peas if you hurry and if you're in zone eight or nine. All right, there they are, man. I'm just, uh, Kind of happy about it. Just mowed and threw some grass all over them. Didn't really mean to do that, but, but I tell you what, that looks pretty, pretty good. Have us a, have us a cucumber in just a few days, right there. A burpless cucumber. It's been a while since I had one since they burned up earlier this year, and uh, gonna be glad to get it. Just a better look, if you haven't seen it, better look at my irrigation system. Got a half inch irrigation pipe running all the way down the length of this row and got a quarter inch pipe stuck in each one of these earth box flows with a two gallon per hour emitter on them. And uh, again, I keep them full. Anyway, just want to show you this and tell you there's still time, probably, if you're in the south. Plant something. All right, that's it, we're gone.